So what am I supposed to be doing? Find Reagan. Oh, challenges. Save Tina, save Jenny, save Priest, save Meatball, save Luke. <gasps> we have to save Meatball. That's the most important one. Hmm. Let's go left first so we don't miss anybody. Hi, Arabella Queen. Save Meatball. Let's put Puff Death. Yes. Hi, Wildcats Jazz. Oh, I can't go over there because... Yeah, they're possessed, so that's a problem for sure. Do you guys ever have your boyfriend possessed by a demon and you're like, ugh, that's annoying. I'm just trying to live my life. Just trying to go out with my BF. And my BF is possessed. I need help here! Anyone, please? I can hear you! I'm Penny and I'm here to help. Are you Reagan? I am, but I'm trapped in here and- Reagan, slow down. I came to tell you. I know where Harold is. <gasps> you do? Oh, my sweet Harold. You really know where he is? I do, and despite the fact that you're, uh, borrowing my amazing body, I still want to help you. Harold says you're not a bad person. Thank you for the bit, Super Mini Minya. Found these laying around, thought you'd like them. Thank you very much, and I do like them. He's such a sweet talker. Penny, I'm trapped in here. Help me escape this coffin, and I'll tell you what you need to know. I can't believe I left my sweet bot for just a few hours, and already it's stuck in a coffin. <laughs> Perfect. Please, I'll explain everything. I just need to get my, well, your body out of here. I don't have anything on me to smash a coffin, but wait. Can I actually possess myself? Is that dangerous? Would that cause a tear in the space-time continuum or something? I guess there's one way to find out. Uh, Poison Dreamer says that feeling when your boyfriend is possessed by a demon. Yeah. Okay, we need 20 super ghosties. Thank you for the bits, by the way, Poison Dreamer. <laughs> Wait, isn't possessing yourself just being alive? Isn't that how that works? Like, if you're just alive... If it, if you possessed yourself, wouldn't you just be... Aren't, aren't we all just possessing ourselves right now? this game. No, I don't. I love it. No! Fuck. I'm so bad at this game. So close! Okay, we gotta try again. She's becoming Dan Danny Phantom. Or are we the pupae from form of ghosts and someday we'll become beautiful spooky butterflies? Yeah, dude, what if this living- what if ghosts are the true form and this is like pre-life? Oh, thank you for the cheers, Asian Thunder. Friends, but I possess them against their will. 
I'm the only one who can possess bodies against their will, not you guys. I dictate who gets possessed. Now that they're being possessed by you, that's bad, but not when I do it. It's okay when I do it, because that's good. Woo! Possess my own body back! Man, I miss this crazy thing! Hey, do you like how it- Penny, what are you- I need you to smash the coffin, not get stuck in here with me! Oh, I'm not stuck. You and me, Reagan, we're driving my body together. And that gives us twice the willpower! Come on, hop when I give the signal. We're gonna drive this coffin right off a cliff and smash it that way! Uh... Have you guys ever been stuck in a body with another woman? Wait guys, is this les what lesbian stuff is? Is it when two women are stuck inside the same body? Does that mean me and her are having lesbian sex? Hi, Witchers of Hyrule. I'm gonna do it! Tragically! Out! At last! Woo! Fresh air! And now, Reagan, who I'm not even sure I trust yet, I'd really appreciate knowing who you are, what you're doing here, and why you stole my body! A body which, I remind you, I am still only partially in control of. I did say I'd tell you. Okay, let me grab a projector. Wait, what are you going to project onto? Directly into your mind, of course. Is that safe? So many questions! When I saw that Harold had died, I was devastated. HAROLD! But I knew he would have wanted me to live my best life. And I did. Oh my god, that is your best life. It's fucking awesome. And one day, many years later, I died. Amateur lion taming accident could have happened to anyone. <laughs> In death, I was happy to finally be reunited with the love of my life, my Harold. Harold! My love! Regan, sweetie, I'm stuck. My bones are scattered across the world and I can't leave until they're safely in a grave. It sucks so bad, sweetie. I'm not losing you again. So we were stuck. We waited there together for hundreds of years. Until one day, when you decided to drop in. Ah! The strange shard that killed Harold somehow gave me the power to take over your body. I'm alive! I'm back alive! Back in the world of the living, I'd finally be able to collect Harold's bones and set things right. Or so I thought. That's a cool and not unsympathetic backstory, but you still stole my body and my life. I know, but... Well, you can have it back after I find Harold's bones. That's all I want. Reagan, would you be offended if I used the word crappy? Not at all. Reagan, you've been doing a pretty crappy job of collecting his bones. How many do you have so far? Zero? Yes, one. Things got complicated. Well, lucky for you, I know how to solve your problem. That wolf ghost must know where some of his bones ended up. Harold got gobbled by wolves, by the way. Don't know if you talked about that when you were waiting. We didn't. We mostly talked about our love for each other. Well, now you know. Harold told me through a particularly elaborate form of interactive storytelling. Anyway, to the wolf ghost! Oh my god. Can you imagine just sitting over there for 300 years just talking to each other about how much you love each other? That'd be so boring. Ugh! Straight couples must be the worst! No, I'm just kidding. I've been in straight relationships. They're pretty okay. Wolf! Wolf, are you here? Wait, maybe this wasn't the greatest idea. Uh, do you remember a sad boy meets girl story that also involves boy getting his head chopped off by a windmill? Nice man. Very tasty. Kept Cub satisfied for weeks. But then... Uh, Wolf, feel slightly Oh my guilty. god! Well, here's your chance to make up for that. I'll forgive you for gobbling my delicious husband if you lead us to his bones. Nice lady. Follow Wolf. That means the little girl did cannibalism. Oh, stop slapping me, Harold! Just give me that stupid shard in your stupid hand! House? 
please crush this annoying thing? With pleasure. No, house, don't do it. Ouch! Oh, ah! Follow the wolves to Harold's bones. All right. We gotta help the other people too. Must not forget. Wow, the real world totally oh, bones. It's good to be back in the old body. Really? You didn't find it a little uh, tall? It's the perfect height. And don't sass a body you didn't even ask to borrow. That is rude, Reagan. I gotta save the people. I really don't think abandoning my body in the middle of a climactic battle is a good idea. But I gotta save people. Where you going, Wolf? Yes, this is definitely source of bone smell. Wolf would bet two stacks of delicious human flesh upon it. That's not necessary, but thanks. It looks like this patient is going to flatline. Is that a threat? Hey, that was rude. Boo! Ugh. Dang it, Vera! Penny? Wow! Vera hasn't seen anyone do the old two souls, one body trick in years. <laughs> How's that working out for you? It's, uh, surprisingly cozy. Yep, that's what they tell Vera. So listen, Vera couldn't help but notice that that ghoul there is bothering you. You want Vera to tag along with her spell that can kick ghouls out of body? Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. Okay, shove over. Wait, I thought you meant tag along in the walk beside oh my us God. sense. Three? Not in the also possess my body sense. Vera apologizes for the confusion. Oh, my God. Three women in one body? Ah, uh, yes. Vera likes it in this body. Thank you. Feels sassier than the old one. Okay, so. To stop a ghoul from possessing someone else, just do this. Ah. Yes, disappointing. Vera noticed this too. Vera will need way more ghost power for this to work. One second, Vera has a friend she Oh can my call. god. Hello, Martha? Vera, are you still at the Department of Death and Dying? Oh, perfect. Well, Remember how Vera covered for you when you accidentally sent those 5,000 souls to the bad oh place? My God. <laughs> Gotta call in that favor, Martha. Vera needs some ghosts. You've got Vera's coordinates. Oh my God, all kinds of women. A dude? Thank you, Martha. These will definitely have the additional ghost power units Vera needs. Gather the ghosts? You should have stayed away. <laughs> wow, there's so many women in my body. This body can't even fly. How do I get up there? I was just about to get together with my new girlfriend. <gasps> Dang it! Oh yeah, you don't need men. Give up, Penny. This is none of your business. Ah, it slows him down. Okay, I gotta save these peeps. How do I get up there? Oh, thank you for the cheers, Arabella Queen. Bits for my literal favorite. Thank you. Maybe 
I gotta like jump off and then just literally just go this way. Nope, doesn't work. How can I get up there? There's gotta be a way to get over there. <gasps> there we go. Hey you! We keep running into each other! I'm down for whatever! Oh my god, there's so many people in my body, it's an orgy. You needed me back on Earth, dearie? Happy to be your plus one for an evening. Is... My help will be out of this world! Sorry, is that cliche? I'm new here. Maybe Penny can have a long distance relationship with her boyfriend. Oh, by the way. He can't be defeated. My orders are to stop you. Hello. No, I missed. Looks like this criminal is going to get the death penalty. Hey, don't be mean. I gotta get more ghosts. More ghosts for me. Hello? He's our boyfriend now. No! This town is just the beginning. Elliot didn't like you anyway. No, he's not your boyfriend. He's my boyfriend. Never fear, your shining knight is here. And also your legally mandated squire. Oh, hey, what's up? How do I get up there? Oh. Oh. No, go away! Tooth man. Hey, it's you from before. Thanks for the help with Jenny. Looks like this customer is going to need some reconstructive dental I'm trying surgery. Trying to get past you. Hey, stop harassing strangers. I've waited so long to punch humans. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all right, we gotta go this way and get over that guy. over here. This is our town now. Aha! Suck it, dude. Wolf smells bones inside that building. <laughs> Definitely old bones from before. Well, I can't get in. Give up. You're too weak. Let's see. There's two more bones. Gotta get some more boners. Hi, furlough. Human bodies are great for violence. Hmm. No plan never work. I'm just trying to get past you, dude. Just trying to get past you. You'll never be strong enough to beat us! Ah, oh, fuck. Human bodies are great for violence! Hmm. I think I have to collect all the ghosts before I can do anything, so let's go back a little bit. What's up, dude? Come over here. This is our town now. Jump. 
and... Wolf smells bones inside. Oh, there's, there's one. You gotta go down. Hey, buddy. Didn't I save you? Aren't you alive now? Well, I was. Until the hot stop and thrills a terror lady 18. <laughs> no regrets. Hey, Ray Reviews. Thanks for being here. So I need one more. So let's find one more if we can. No plan never work. Human bodies are great for violence. It doesn't let me open it, so I think I have to kill the dude before I do the thing. We got to go over here. Hmm. Which one are we missing? We went over to the left. Oh, maybe we have to go down to the docks. What if one of our builders was to make a spirit bomb? Give up! You're too weak! Bye, loser! Wolf smells bones inside. Yeah, but you can be easily avoided, nerd. Bye! Sucker. Maybe if I go this way? I think I've already been in this direction, but let's just make sure. Where's little Woof Woof, by the way? Someone got it? What? What's the joke? Kamehameha. You guys are dorks. I don't know if you guys know this, but you're dorks. Bye, loser! Try running faster, nerd. Ahoy, Penny. Just good to be seeing you again. That's it! That's all Vera needs! The full force of the spell is now available, if we work together. Penny, you're in charge. Just say when. Got it, Vera. Ugh, this body can't even fly! Oh, wow. We're free! You freed you! Willa. Sometimes, if a lot of demonic energy gets concentrated in a single area, it can manifest in, in, in inanimate objects. That's the origin story behind Willa, the monster house. Fun fact, that's also the origin story as to why you keep stubbing your toe on the same table. Willa hobby, ho Willa's hobbies include terror, the spooky arts, and crochet. Okay, yeah, I'm awesome now. What did Vera tell you? Now let's go use our powers on those dang ghouls! And save my herald! Yes! Everyone, let's end this! Alright, we gotta save Meatball. Where's Meatball? It's important. Meatball, where are you? No, seriously, where's Meatball? Is Meatball over there? There's tight quarters here. Sorry, my head's just regular sized, but there's me and 13.5 other people in it right now. Just a Krista the Crab. Krista is a lonely crab who only wants a friend. Isn't that touching and relatable? Haha, 
Not for me. As a writer who writes flavor text for in-game collectible cards, I'm extremely popular and never lonely at all. I swear right now I'm I'm late for like 15 different parties. Now? Vera is impressed by your mental stamina, Penny. If it were Vera, Vera would already be going crazy and speaking in the third person. <laughs> okay, we gotta find Meatball. Maybe Meatball's in the ocean? I gotta make sure. There's only one way to be sure, and that's to jump in the ocean. No! I wanna be... Where's Meatball? Yeah, it does seem like a double, like a double fine game, Roxanne mixtape. All right, if you guys know where Meatball is, this is important information. If you can look up where Meatball is, so we don't. Vera, quick question: How long can one woman keep over a dozen other voices in her head and not go crazy? Yes, I too would like to know the answer to this question. Well, in Vera's experience, the previous world record was three. And that was only for a few minutes, if I recall. Oh, but, uh, you're doing great. Vera doesn't feel insane at all! <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's hurry this up. What happens if I jab on this button? No, don't! This isn't our body. We can't control it like that. How come I write I just blink three times? I'm sorry, dearie. I'm trying to control him. Lost and found. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? Hendy's gather in Harold's bones! Stop him! You're free! Of all the afterlives I was expecting, this was not one of them. I died in a Santa costume and so get to spend eternity in a Santa costume. Things worked out great for me. What if you died naked? Would that mean... Can we please discuss eternal nudity at a later date? Really trying to accomplish a goal here, and I don't need the distractions. What is this? He's only getting stronger! Oh wait, we gotta save everybody before we get the last tooth. Where's the pooper? Where's Meatball? Elliot didn't like you anyway. Hmm? I was just getting down face. Gouliet. Ghoul, descendant of Gorula, once won a soul eating contest championship that he didn't even know was happening. He was just eating that many souls to pass the time. When possessing Elliot, he finds the fact his body w has only a mere two eyes, which only see in, in a mere three non-instantaneous, instant insanity-inducing dimensions, takes some getting used to. Not cool! I didn't do it, man. Where's the meatball? Okay, can we rebuild hey, him? When this is over, does anyone want to go watch scary movies? We're all ghosts here, Fireman. What could be scarier? Oh, you've never seen the Tower Lady series? Super scary! Okay, so get this. She's a lady, right? But her main interest? Tara! So, one day, she's walking down the street, terrifying everyone she meets, of course, when- Everyone! I'm trying to concentrate here. Alright, we gotta find out- We gotta find out where Meatball is. Let's find out where Meatball is. Let's think. I'm cheating. Hmm. 
Wait, I think I found it. Oh, he's up in the woods. All right, it's okay. We're not mi <clears throat> we're not missing anything. We're not missing anything. I just didn't want to miss the chance to save Meatball. That was like the most important thing, a uh, part of the game, is saving the doggy. If you don't save the dog, are you really a human being at all? Although maybe Meatball likes being. That's all we need. It's time to end this. It's time to save Harold! I cannot wait to dispense justice from thy new and more female frame! Sir, please don't make this weird. Penny, I apologize if my night is making things weird. Hey, Brady, what about claiming excitement from dispensing justice from a new and more female frame is weird? Tis every night's dream to dispense justice from every frame imaginable! Hey, glad you two are having fun. <sighs> Meatball! Meatball! There you are! Again. Meatball, you're safe. Ray Dowood, professional hard hat tester Ray Dowood was supposed to be the lead in this game, but due to a fatal paper cut accident, don't ask, it was an unlike it was as unlikely as it was memorable. His role was reduced to a walk on as a beheaded ghost. Don't worry, he'll be fine. Fun fact, he's now sincerely wishes to stick it to stick it to the man. Meatball, you're okay, my little baby. What I want to know is, will Crab, will Crystal the Crab ever find a friend? No! No! Don't let them get close! Here we go! Oh no! I just got hit with a skull! Fuck you, guy! <laughs> Regan Applegrish. Look at! Look at that! He spent this whole time thinking Reagan was a bad guy, but really she's just a misunderstood person in some very difficult circumstance. Her life was marked by love, then tragedy, but with the help of a kind stranger, it might not be too late to turn things around. Heck, you're already in for a penny. You're... Heck, you're already in for a penny. I saved them all! The power of love knocked out Penis House. I knew you'd never give up on us. This is for you, my love. Catch! Oh, now I have the full power of the Reaps. Now what? Harold, my dear! Regan, my love! Not even death, dismemberment, possession, and giant nightmare demons can keep our love apart. And this is much nicer than kissing a skeleton, which is what I was worried I'd have to do. <laughs> Penny? What happened? Why am I here? Why are you... Wait, why are you dying in my arms? 
Hey, I'm back from my moon vacation, fully rested and relaxed. Great sights, great restaurants, though I must admit they didn't have much of an atmosphere. <laughs> Anyway, I'm so ready to start reaping souls from the living. Hey, boss, speaking of that, there's been a mistake. What? Yeah, it turns out I didn't die after all. My body got possessed by the spirit of a long dead woman, which kicked my spirit over here to the other side. But yeah, totally alive right now. Uh, for the moment at least. Also, I'm not a demon. I'm pretty sure I've gathered from context clues that only demons are supposed to be doing my job. Wait. I left a living human in charge of the afterlife? I left an alive person in charge of death? Oh, jeez, I could get fired for this. Hey, I won't tell if you won't. Now, if you could just send me back to the land of the living, quickly, hopefully. Thank you, Penny. Thank you. You've saved my skin. Metaphorically speaking, of course. And it seems you've also done a lot of solving of other people's problems, too. <laughs> See you never, Temp. Be gone! Yay! Penny, you're Your alive! Your GF is okay. I was terrified. I thought for a moment that you were... <laughs> <laughs> Dead? Nah. Besides, that's not scary, Elliot. People think of him as this force that stalks them throughout their lives, but it's not like that. Penny... I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll explain later. For now, come here, boyfriend. Ah! Uh, I saved my boyfriend. Reagan and Harold, they really did love each other, you know. I know. I miss them. Them and all the others. Yeah, it's a shame we won't see them tonight. And also ever again. You guys could always I die. I wouldn't be so sure, Elliot. After all, there's a reason we're having the housewarming party on Halloween. Do you ever feel lonely because all your friends are ghosts and you can only see them once a year? And that was how... With the aid of the ghosts she'd helped in her adventure. Thank you for the cheers, Penny managed Emma to save to not me. just the day. That was how Penny Dowood managed to save everyone. Harold and Reagan were reunited forever. Penny was restored to her body, and she and Elliot, and all the inhabitants of Flatwood Peaks, living and dead, lived and died happily ever after. Oh my. The end. This. Th so, uh, remember back at the beginning when I promised you you'd reach your own end soon enough? Well, here it is. Oh, you probably thought I was making some threats about you dying. But no, I was only talking about the end of this game. Well, how can I know if you're going to die or not? For all I know, you're one of the few immortals that walk this earth, unable to die, passing the time by playing video games. And for that, I thank you. Please, tell me your secrets. Oh, and if you aren't one of those immortals, well, I thank you too. You shared some of your finite life with me. And when death does come for you, Remember. Thank you for the bits, he's Radical not Clavicle. Such a bad guy. Love you too. You'll probably like him. And, you know, if you don't, you'll always have the option of. And thank you, Mamma Spartanay. Flipping death. Hey guys, did you guys notice the uh, ghost lesbian? Remember that uh, ghost that we saved at the beginning? The lady ghost who was murdered? Hold on. Hey, you! Excuse me. Uh, she was like, yeah, I was supposed to meet up with my girlfriend. So she's a ghost lesbian. It's nice that even in the afterlife, you can still make new discoveries about yourself. That's nice. Or bisexual ghost. What's what this? Bispiritual? What's like a, a pun on, on like, lesbian ghost? Lesbian ghost or bi, bispectral?